Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the Grambling State Tigers and the Florida Gators. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I tell you what, it looks like a David versus Goliath, baby, but you never know. Could be upset city if they protect the basketball. You know what? I think it's essential to control the tempo of the game. The Gators should be in for an easy one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. Number one, it's up to the point guard to be the leader, to control the entire tempo of the game. Second, be strong with the ball. Turnovers can be the story here tonight, so protect that basketball. Lastly, be monsters on the boards. Don't be afraid to get tangled up. Crash the glass. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. The point guard gets the pass. Both teams are looking to get something going here. The shooting guard with the ball. Looking for a good shot. Inside. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Inside. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. He drains the bucket. <laughs> Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He fires it up. Way off target. And he missed. Look at these fans. They're loving it. It's crazy in here, Brad. He fakes the shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. The shooting guard takes the pass. The kick out. Shoots from outside. Tickles a twine. Shoots from the top of the circle. Oh, shows his range. We got to see that one again. They'll work it around the arc. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Long lead pass. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. The point guard takes the feed. Off the rim and no good. He buries it. Shows patience waiting for the reset. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Turns it over. Fed the low block. And he'll kick it back outside. Trying to pack it inside. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Up and inside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And now there's a whistle and a foul. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. He'll regroup the offense. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense. Not allowing him to make that turn. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Gave it up. The small forward gets the ball. Up with the shot. They get it to go.
He puts up the three ball. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Brad, he's not getting any help out there. It's basically one against five. Not good odds. He strips him clean. Hollins is fired up right now emotional. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. Tries for two. Doesn't go. May draws the personal. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. First shot, no good. Chops off the pick. They work the perimeter. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. The center has gone wild. Well, the Rowdy Reptiles in Gainesville are going bananas. There's a double team waiting there. There's the pick. There's the roll. Nice shot. He keeps the dribble as they reset. On the dribble, gives it up. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Rambling State had put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Got it. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. Fakes it. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that block shot. Gave it up. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. <laughs> For the bucket, they still don't score. Picks off the pass. On the outside. There's the trap. High post screen. So effective, that screen. For two. Can't get the shot to go. It's ridiculous in here. The center is going mad. Well, the Rowdy Reptiles in Gainesville are going bananas. Goes up for two. He puts it in with contact and all. They scored seven in a row. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Something inside. Look at that spacing. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. High post screen, gonna use it. 
Florida are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Yeah, they're really starting to click on offense. Here's a double team. Fake. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. He shoots from right of the circle. That's good. Looking for a good shot. Looking for contact. Well, makes the finger roll. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. Here's a flash from the high post. On the dribble, gives it up. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. off up and inside didn't give it to him down low going the other way puts it up looking for contact to pick up the defense here now. The ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the crowd is enjoying this close one tonight. A lot of energy and excitement coming from the stands. What is going to happen tonight? Thanks, Aaron. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Way off target. Working around the perimeter. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Now the high screen. He shoots from the top of the key. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. He looks at the hoop. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. I'll tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Working it around the perimeter. Let's watch the move as he works his man and on a fadeaway jumper. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Gave it up. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. From right in the circle. Off the rim and no good. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. High post screen. That was a brick, man. That was an ugly. Blocks it. Kicks it out. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Takes the pass in the paint with a little baby hook. 
Florida are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There he is, strips the ball loose. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Got to take some pride on a defensive end. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. First one is good. Misses the second shot. They'll get another chance, Dick. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Looking for a good shot. Fires away. He hits it. The frustration right there. Trying to draw some contact. And he scores despite the hack. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Good fake. From three-point territory, Florida is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Nice fake. Double team now, bad angle. Moving it around the perimeter. From beyond the arc, way off target. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He attempts the three, off the rim, and no good. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. He takes the pass in the paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. For the bucket. Up and in. The center is going crazy. Well, the Rowdy Reptiles engage. It's the rejection. It's a block party out there. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see wall man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. The ball goes out of play. He wants these fans to get pumped up and get excited. He wants the roof to pop off this arena. My goodness. He's saying, get up, people. Get up. Top of the circle. They work it around the perimeter. Executes the baby hook. 
I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Look at that spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. Stolen away. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Drops the bucket despite the harm. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He used the screen perfectly to put in the inside hoop. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special arm, feeding the post. Got the shot if he wants it. Looks at a three. He gets that one to fall. He attempts the trifecta. Gets it to go. Pope comes up with it. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. There's a double team waiting there. Takes it off him. On the outside, Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. The center has gone wild. Well, the Rowdy Reptiles in Gainesville are going bananas. There was no doubt about that one. Up and inside. He fires away. They let him get into a rhythm. At halftime, the Gators are up by seven. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. Florida is showing some deadly accuracy from the field in the first half. Hey, for sure, Brad. This kind of accuracy can easily be carried over to the second half if they continue to be patient with the rock. Patience and poise usually equals points. We always love it when underdogs play well. They didn't in the first half, Dick, and they're going to have to pull out a miracle here in the second half. They're really going to have to really, really regroup and come out with some fire and get some momentum. It's essential they go on a spurt to get some confidence. If they don't get a spurt, hey, Brad, you got all your material ready? Because we're going to have to hit and talk about everything, baseball, basketball, football. Hey, who's going to win the Super Bowl? Talking apple turnovers either. Goes up for two. He wants a three. Sinks the shot. Gave it up. He shoots from right of the circle. Goes. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. And the ball goes out of play. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your 
thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far. Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guard. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatch. There's the trap. Steals the ball. Head up. You gotta have vision. You gotta see the open man. Tries for two. It's good. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. The student section looks like they're having a great time. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell great. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Oh, what a strip, Rad. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Great anticipation defensively. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. They work it around the perimeter. And a momentary look from three-point land. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Takes away the pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. With the free throw. Count it. Good. He makes it. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Holland receives the pass. On the outside. Pushing that basketball. For two. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. The dribble gives it up. Intercepted. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Steal. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The Gators are ahead by five. Double team now, bad angle. He takes it away. 
Working it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. Now they work it around the perimeter. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He shoots from right of the circle. Way off. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Jumps into the defender. He puts it in with contact and all. Got some room. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So I'm saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Taken away. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory, like a sixth man. Roll that replay ready, boys. In the paint. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Steals the ball. And back they come the other way. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. out of the air they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass that's a 7-0 run they work it around the perimeter a momentary look from three-point land. The ball goes out of bounds. High post flashes for the opportunity. For the bucket. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. He intercepts it. Looking for a good shot. They move it into the front court. He unloads a three. Goes in. Adam in the low block, but opted against it. He tries the three. Scorches the net. Here's a double team. Harm and foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Got a wide open look. He lets it go. He shows the sweet touch. Gave it up. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it.
Dolan. On the outside, got the high pick. With the fake. They work the perimeter. Outside jumper. He hits the shot. The Gators lead by six. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Defense giving some room. He tries to knock down the three. Off the rim and no good. The Gators have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Gets it back out. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Takes away the pass. Dump it inside. On the dribble, gives it up. From right at the circle, way off target. They'll work it around the arc. For two, off the rim and no good. The ball goes out of play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, down here on the sidelines, I'm close to the favorites bench. What they're saying is, we've been in these situations before. Let's tighten up the defense and pull out a win here. All right, thanks, Aaron. Steals the ball. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. On the outside, jumps in. Florida are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Takes away the pass. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. Looking for a good shot. Shot's there if he wants it. There's a double team waiting there. Can't get the shot to go. Great block shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. That's a 7 nothing run. Stolen ball. They're doing a nice job of getting back on D. The fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. On the inside. Number 34 with the fake. Tries for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. There's the trap. Steal. Cross court. He lets it fly. Everything they throw up keeps hitting the target. NBN, nothing but that one. We get ready to bounce back into action here. Take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. 
Little dipsy dude, Don Carew. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. For two. That's good. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There's a high screen. He'll kick it back outside. Moving it around the perimeter. Puts it up. Way off target. Entry pass in the paint. He intercepts it. They work it around the perimeter. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Tickles a twine. And a momentary look from three-point land. Tries a three. Nice shot. On the outside, picked off. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. And in and out. Look at that spacing. Picked out of the air with the block. it off him. Nice high post screen. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. In the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He shoots from downtown. These boys are tearing it up behind the arc right now, Dick. They've got him at their mercy with the threes, Brad. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Buried it. The player's got a much needed breather with that timeout. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. And then coming the other way, tries for two, makes it.
There's the pick. Looking for the foul. Doesn't go. For the bucket. And he missed. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the outside. On the inside for two. Basket falls despite the contact. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. And the fans are going wild. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. Ten seconds to get a shot off. They work the perimeter. Steals a pass. Shot clock is dead. Just puts it up there. He couldn't get it to fall. the State Farm drive of the game. I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Florida wins in an absolutely humiliating blowout. The outcome was never in doubt. It was always...